Hi folks, you want to talk about a spontaneous video that you, you weren't planning, but it just feels that the time and the mood is right? Okay, well over here on the side, some of you may know, I have an area that is where I put a lot of my stuff. You know, if I show you something, I don't know, I'll just pick something. You know, if I'm making videos and I show you this, or I show you, I don't know, this, or whatever I show you. I usually put it down on the side over here, and uh, I've been doing that now for a while. Now, what happened was uh, I was um, amassing a huge pile of show-and-tell stuff, and not just show-and-tell stuff, but clothes and other things, and I've been telling a lot of you that for a long time now. I've been saying I have been wanting to clean this pile up. Let's get it cleared off. There's a bed here, actually. There's a spare bed, and it's full of stuff. Crap. And it's been like that since, I think, October of, I'm going to say October of 2022. So that's, uh, you know, almost a year and three months. <laughs> okay. Now, the reason I'm making this video is because the outcome of this is kind of humorous. And I, I thought I would share it with you because I could poke fun at myself. I could laugh. It's not a problem. So I'm going to do that. So anyway... Today I made a project that I was finally going to clear this mess off, and I accomplished it. And uh, I was wondering what kind of stuff I would find. I found some stuff that I had been looking for that I didn't know where it was. Well, there it was. But on the very bottom of this pile, we do have a casualty, uh, sort of. And the casualty is, uh, it's a big casualty. i got to be honest with you, it's not a little casualty. And I'm going to show you what it is. Anybody remember this? The Revolver Deluxe Box. This was on the bottom of the pile. And that's pretty... Uh... <laughs> I'm actually laughing. I think it's funny. At least I kept the shriek wrap on it. Gotta have a sense of humor about these things. Look. Look at that. Look at that. It is really squashed. Okay, but that's not the worst part of it, okay? That's not the worst part of it. And I'm laughing about it. I think, believe me, if I was ashamed of this or I was embarrassed by it or I didn't have a good sense of humor about it, I just wouldn't make a video. None of you out there has to know this happened. I don't mind. This is the inside part, right? This is the part that contains the discs. All the bonus tracks and things like that. All right. <laughs> I mean, but why are you laughing at that? Are you laughing, Jonah? I mean, these things are not cheap, you know, look at that. Am I laughing about it? Is it? You know, I don't think there's too much of a way. You might be able to be straightened out. I might be able to straighten it out a little bit. I don't know. So I could do one of two things at this point. Either A, I can buy this again, which, like I said, you know, it's not the the first desire, but, I, but I'd buy it again if I had to. And the second thing is I could try to find a way to well, actually three things you could do i could try to find a way to smooth that out although i don't know if i'm going to be able to but um most likely the third one would be also that you just just keep it this way that's all to tell you the truth you know these things happen but the reason i wanted to really make this video uh, aside from just a chance maybe for some of us to have a chuckle or whatever is that um i know a lot of people who make videos uh about the beatles or what whatever stuff you have memorabilia stuff you want to share with everybody the thing you have to remember is you got to be careful now i know i think beetle brad had some problems i think he dropped a few things and he broke something i think a record or something uh, correct me if i'm wrong but you have to be careful you know sometimes you show a poster you open up the poster to show everybody out there in you know home home watching land and then you do a little tear, <laughs> it tore, you know, you got to watch out. So this is a casualty, but uh, as I say, I could live with this if I had to. I honestly could because uh, I still have the Beetle book. Also, the Beetle, the book that came inside was under there. The, the book is really sturdy. There's no problem. Probably just putting the book back in here alone would help strengthen this up a little bit and fix that a little bit. But what I'm trying to tell you is, is it's not. It's not really worth not being careful, that's all. Just take your time, make sure you put things back. Usually I'm very organized, usually I put things back well. Or do I? I when I have the space, when I have the room, I put things back. Otherwise, you know, don't do it. But you gotta be careful. Anyway, uh, 
good sense of humor, a little humility. I thought I'd share that with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah.